हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू टीचर्स हेल्प बोर्ड नेचुरल रिसोर्स आर द रिसोर्स दैट आर नेचुरली अवेलेबल इन द नेचर वाटर एंड एयर आर द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ लेसन इन ईवीएस पार्ट वन नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस एयर वाटर एंड लैंड यू कैन सी दैट सम थिंग्स इन द पिक्चर आर इन वाटर some on land and some in the sky that is in the air thus all things on the earth are associated with air water and land air water and land are called the earth's atmosphere hydrosphere and lithosphere all different living things occupy these three spheres of the earth which they occupy together called the biosphere the atmosphere is a layer of air that surrounds the earth the surface of the earth comprises water and land that is the hydrosphere and lithosphere of these the hydrosphere occupies a much larger part than the lithosphere as seen in the picture given now we will learn some natural components solid liquid and gaseous we use these components to fulfill our requirements let us study each in detail the first one we are going to learn is about air the air in the atmosphere around the earth contains nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide six inert gases nitrogen dioxide sulfur dioxide water vapor and dust particles the amount of the gases in the air is the greatest near the surface and decreases as we go higher and higher from the surface now let us learn some uses of gases in air nitrogen it helps living things to build the necessary proteins it is useful in the production of ammonia and in air tight packaging of foodstuffs next oxygen necessary for respiration in living things and for combustion next carbon dioxide plants use it for producing their food used in fire extinguisher next argon it is used in electric bulbs the other one helium it is used for obtaining low temperature and also for generating lift in airships next neon it is used in decorative lights and for street lighting next krypton it is used in fluorescent tubes next xenon it is used in flash photography always remember the living world on the earth is sustained due to the balance between various gases and other constituents of air the atmosphere is a very important filter it allows the light and heat of the sun to reach the earth which is necessary for life now students can you tell me what is the similarity in the pictures given below first picture chimneys of the factory second vehicles giving out smoke and other gases third picture forest fire all the above pictures show large emission emission means giving out or producing of smoke through different agencies this smoke directly mixes with the atmosphere and disturbs the balance between the constituents of air this is called air pollution harmful gases are given out through combustion of fuels in vehicles and in big industries and also through incomplete combustion of fuels like wood and coal as a result air pollution is increasing day by day now we will see about water as you all know that it is not possible for us to spend even a single day without water we need to drink 3 to 4 liters of water every day so that all our bodily functions run smoothly other living things also require water 
although the amount of water they need may vary according to the size of their body thus we see that water is very important for every living things remember in nature water occurs in three states water does not have color taste or odor many substances readily dissolve in water therefore water is a universal solvent the picture given below distribution of water on the earth now we will learn for which purpose water is used water is used in large quantities we get water from natural resources such as streams rivers ponds lakes man also digs well and bore wells to lift ground water so children always remember use water sparingly block water let it percolate store water wherever possible reuse water wherever possible remember stored water does not become stale at once now we will learn about land land is seen in the form of stones soil big rocks it is not flat everywhere it is hilly in some places and flat in other some places all animals including man live on land some animals like rabbit snake dig burrows in the ground for shelter they use land for fulfilling their need we also use land for building houses and roads now we will learn the process of soil formation the soil on the land is formed by a natural process the abiotic components of soil are supplied through the weathering of the bedrock due to the heat cold and water of the sun wind and rain respectively the bedrock breaks down into pieces stones sand and soil are formed from these pieces worms and insects are found among them mice and rats are also found here the roots of trees growing on the land also help weathering of rocks the process of soil formation is slow and continuous it takes about 1000 years for a 2.5 cm thick layer of mature soil to form soil can get destroyed in a short period due to floods storms and human activities such as mining that is why it is necessary to conserve soil and to prevent erosion of land the best remedy for this is to increase the green cover of the land erosion of land is reduced if grass trees and bushes are grown in it i hope you all enjoyed the session if you like this video press like button subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get the daily notification of our channel thank you keep supporting us